Ah, here we are again with another trailer. I've read through the comments a little bit to compare it to a mobile game, but uh, I'm actually gonna watch it first for all of you. And then we're gonna read through the comments, which are already memeing the game to death. It's Dragon Age, and the way all got the new Dragon Age game, you sadly can't see the dislike bar. Now with my version of YouTube. Starting with a bomb. Sorry. Not looking good, old friend. This will take more than you and me. What are you thinking? We need someone to be our eyes and ears in the shadows. And someone to bring a little darkness to the daylight. We're going into the Fade, aren't we? And digging up a lot of buried secrets. What about Darkspawn? Yeah. Someone who will stand between us and a pack of demons. You know there will be dragons. Right. We'll need someone with fire in their blood. One more thing. This crew needs a leader. Someone we can count on. Someone that the world can count on. But where are we gonna find her? I never watched it. I never watched it. I just looked like satire. It's be funny when then people are gonna start singing in the middle of cutscenes. It's gonna be an opera skit. Okay. Sure. Where's my music? Here. Yeah. Yeah, first impressions, they overwatched it. And it does look like a mobile game, man. Uh, mm, let's go down there. Do I get different comments when I have it? Yep, that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Standard Ansicht. So you can see what else I'm watching. Oh, favorite trailer. Oh. Oh, I can click that right afterwards. Why not? Ah, oh, how did we go from dark fantasy to Saturday morning cartoons? Yeah, it's comical. Is this what Duncan died for? For modern audiences. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. Until the last second of the trailer, I was expecting what we would see at the end. Dragon Age Mobile. Hmm. What are we, some kind of dragon suicide squad? Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Dragon Age suicide squad. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Dragon Age Fortnite. Sure, sure. Are you sure this is dark fantasy? It's funny fantasy. Oh. Oh, looks exactly like Netflix animations. Oh, ah, okay. Yeah, I'm sure that's ignored. It. There are the likes and the dislikes. For the people wondering how oh, dislike this trailer actually is. This is what happens when you take a beloved dark fantasy RPG and turn it into Overwatch. This is made by Bioware, right? This is the same Bioware that's gonna make the uh, next Mass Effect game. Uh, I'm gonna be in danger. Because Mass Effect is definitely something that I love to play. As so I'm pretty much let's playing that for the last month. All of it. Even Andromeda is gonna get replayed. 
and I'm making my thumbnails, that's actually something else. Damn, do I have that thumbnail on tap? That's for PvE ext uh, extraction games. Mm, which took like 30 minutes or so, or more even. Very broad of it. Ah, let's not talk about Mass Effect just now. But we're gonna get it where then I can talk about my Mass Effect. <laughs> Disappointment. Where were we? Comments, yeah. Where's Bardus Gate 3? Looks more like Dragon Age than Dragon Age itself. No Blade Bardus Gate, sadly. I believe I was too busy at the time with other games. Oh, these trailers used to send shivers down your spine. Now it looks like a mobile game. It looks like they had fun doing it, and that's all that matters. Hmm. Mm. Oh, sorry. I needed to hold back a little bit of puke for a Dragon Age game where at the entire where uh, the entire world is on the brink of destruction. The stakes now have been higher. It certainly looks like everyone is having fun, and that is all that matters. So, where's the real trailer? I mean, was that a CGI trailer? Only the CGI trailer should look a little bit better. Um, you either die as Dragon Age or live long enough to see yourself become Fortnite. Yeah, I would say it's more like Overwatch. I didn't know Disney bought Bioware. <laughs> That's a good one too. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, what era is this? Some kind of Dragon Age? By the gods, I feel like I've seen the woods in like 30 other trailers in the past five years and so on. The real reason why YouTube removed this is because every goddamn trailer recently for big games just looks like trash and has controversy. Maybe in five years it's gonna get better again, but if this is the trend right now, the next five years of gaming is gonna be disappointing. Oh, okay, I like everything about our idea. Wow, well, please sell Mass Effect Dragon Age to someone who actually loved the games. Oh, just let me direct Mass Effect. Chances are that it turns out decent at least. Must be so high right now. God, I fear for Mass Effect. Four. This is gonna be a he's right behind me, isn't he? Kind of script, right? Oh, and the dragon shows up. Yep, I can see that coming. This is what happens when people are afraid to tell the terror their, their ideas. So, the most shocking thing about the trailer was that Bioware left the comments open. That's in every trailer I read. As a diehard Dragon Age fan, my first reaction is that someone hired the death from Valorant. Ah, I never played Valorant. I might have no marketing, educational experience, but something tells me that making a trailer in that star that will appeal to literally no one who played either of the previous games is not a great marketing strategy for a sequel to a well-loved series. This looks more like it was made exclusively for people who were born after the last game released in 2014. So long ago, damn. Like I have a lot of Dragon Age games in my library and I never played it fully. Someone needs to remind Bioware. And this game has a broodmother arc in Dragon Age Origins, in which there's a poem that describes how it came to be as it was constantly fed dark spawn flesh. You really aren't allowed to turn this into a cartoony Valorant spin-off. I don't get all the quotes. Dreadful Wolf Rises didn't watch the trailer. Game engine footage, not all images appear in game. Hopefully it looks at least a little bit Syria. Syria? Seriously. Who knew the Arch Demon was the real hero all along? I tried to spare us from this future and we killed it. This is not Rip Dragon Age, this is Rip Barware. I agree. What was the last game? Anthem? Anthem. Bah. Mass Effect Andromeda? Oh no. Well, we already can see that downward slide's coming. 
There is some more mesh make a dragon game game look like Overwatch, but not Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy. And meant for 11 years old to play it. Why it should be more like Mass Effect, of course. As I play Mass Effect. Ambience music in the background. Oh, seems like a Netflix original series. Uh, it actually seems like that. Like they could stream it on Netflix with exactly that style and voice line and the animation. Mm. Okay. Star cards, unfunny humor, cartoony art style. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Dragon Age Borderlands. Up over Borderlands. And also has a movie coming out this year. Which I want to do this for Borderlands 2. Oh. The stakes are the highest in this game, apparently. But it's going to be fun. Oh. <laughs> Going from Dragon Age to Imagine Dragons. That's unfair to Imagine Dragons. They're a good band. Okay, stop the hate. <laughs> yeah, like seriously, show some respect to Imagine Dragons, dude. Nah, they have good songs. They have good songs. The characters looked like they were made using the Sims 4 character editor. Well, that's a good one. That's a good one. Rose. Oh, which game just came out this year, Dragon's Dogma, which had amazing character designs at least. And this game, when does it come out? Oh, Suicide Squad, Zill Ocean, uh, 11, Saturday Night, Morning Cartoon Star. Shadow Legends trailer. Yep, that was there. Gandalf 10 years ago when Dragon Age was a dark fantasy game and not a Fortnite expansion. Ooh, go on. I'm feeling very modern game to game vibes here. Hmm. Yep. Mm. Uh. Uh, we want to read for our audience, all 12 of them. God, okay. Oh, this trailer makes me feel like it was too hard on Andromeda. No, it's just a downward spiral. Mm. Andromeda looks like a masterpiece in other landscapes. Yes, the character designs for Asari. Humans, especially. Not bad. Corinza, me. Uh. How does it feel? To live long enough to see all your favorite franchises go down in flames. Please, please make Mass Effect good. Uh, okay, okay. First Descendant is on my wish list since I see it right here. I believe that comes out next month when I checked my Steam library correctly. And where was the favorite trailer? Why do they put her face on the trailer when everybody knows that she's the most controversial thing about the game? That, oh, shut up, German ads. Amazon. That dude looks like Lord. Fuck. I <laughs> said the Lord of the Ring. Yeah. I didn't mean the girl. It's gonna be pretty sad if they put a character creator in the Forza games, but not in Fable. Oh, there is this nagging feeling in everyone's head that they're not making character creator or gender selector once it's released. So you what? That crack is really Moorish. <laughs> but uh, if you don't let us choose your own character, you failed. So people... It looks like one of the Cinderella sisters, the Roasts. Is this Super Hans? The Roasts are coming in. play as an NPC basically so where's the girl not him so people fear that you're gonna have to play as this girl which looks as basic uninspired and boring as humanly possible and actually if I just skip through the trailer it's gonna happen it's gonna happen What's that? Kristen Stewart mixed with 
Anna Jarliota from The Witcher. Just an uglier. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Anna. Fire watches. Disturb. Oh no. That's my gold, so oh, yeah. Yeah. And there's already backlash. Gonna put that and squeeze that into my uploading this though. No, we're almost done with some of them. That's good news. Just the video that's supposed to come out today takes the longest. Ooh. 29 minutes. Sure, I'm squeezing that in. Dragon Age. The whale god. Let's see if I can find myself a nice picture to meme. Build uh, is the world got the same as the Dread Wolf by and follow up on that. Build uh, <laughs> just his face, right? I completely forgot what he's supposed to be. It just looks cartoonish. So the world got good. Let's just go with the lazy approach. Oh, that's way too small. Oh, should have video edited you. I mean, Photoshop you. <laughs> that expression is also amazing. Like, ugh, what is that? It's like the perfect meme. Wait, did I, wait, what was that picture again? I think I saw something here. Oh, okay, they were got plan. I could see if that's oh, there's already a PC for this list. Um, Steam, yeah, and Epic Games too. I already expect some early pre-order and access stuff. No. In the world does look decent. Those pictures just don't give anything away. That's steampunky. That's not Dragon Age. That looks very modern. Titus. Oh. This word Titus. What does Titus even mean? It's not a word for tits, right? Damn it. Oh, translate. Schwankt uh, teetering. Okay. Titus. My bad. My bad. Was. Damn it. Ah. Oh. I got distracted. Let's tell me. Oh no. I can't pre order yet. Release date. Nothing. Probably nothing on the Epic Store then, too. That's how old I'm feeling. Right up. The next. There's nothing else here. Up, up, up. We're done. Effort. So, oh, I probably won't even play any of those. Cartoonish. No, no. I'm gonna waste for Mass Effect with low hopes and low expectations. That's the smartest thing I could do. Yeah. 